Hey guys, it's TechRan here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the new Streamlabs plugin into OBS Studio. That is right. Now, you might be a fan of using Streamlabs OBS, but they released a plugin recently that lets you take those, some of those features from Streamlabs and then install them into OBS Studio, which is pretty cool. So if you are looking to transition to OBS Studio, this is actually a great time to actually do so. And today, I want to show you guys on how to set this on up. The first thing you're gonna do is download OBS Studio. Now, of course, we'll have a link to it down below. And once you're on this page, you just wanna pick up whatever device you're using. But since I'm on Windows, I'm gonna install it for Windows. Once you installed OBS Studio, the next thing to do is get our plugin. Of course, I will have a link to it down below. And once you're on this page here, all you have to do is click download the plugin. It's gonna take a second to download. What we need to do now is go to our file explorer, go to download, which you can see right here. And we wanna just open this on up and install it. Of course, the setup process is pretty straightforward and solid. There's not much complexity to it. The one thing we will need to do once this is finished though, is actually restart our OBS. Now, something important to keep in mind about this actual plugin, it does not currently support Mac whatsoever. So they're gonna probably update that later here, but I just wanna let you guys know ahead of time. Now, I might ask you if you have OBS already installed. And if you do, we will just click is yes. And of course, we just need to restart an OBS now and click finish. Okay, so what we're gonna do is close OBS Studio. And then we're gonna reopen it up on our dashboard here. Of course, it's gonna do a little bit more installation for it. And with that, of course, our plugin is good to go. So we can log into actually Streamlabs from here too. So let's just say log and get started. Of course, it's gonna take you to a web page here and just slide into whatever platform you're using. Once you've done that, it'll take you right back to, of course, OBS. And what we're gonna do is just close this for the time being and just skip all this stuff because I'm not really worrying about it too much. Once you restart OBS, you should see two new things. First of all, is a Streamlabs chat, which is pretty nice. And on the left side, you should see a Streamlabs uh, recent events. If you don't see it right off the rip, just make sure to go to the top left under docs and just make sure the actual recent events is checked and also a chat. Now, if you have gotten any Streamlabs actually widgets or alerts or anything special from them, all you have to do is go to the top left and go to the right side where it says Streamlabs. And of course, this will pop up the store that you normally see within Streamlabs, but you can use this for OBS. And so if you wanna look for alerts that you might wanna use, you can do so, or maybe some of you've already purchased in the past, you can easily access them. And of course, they will set them on up. So for example here, if we were to go into the free section, you can actually see there's some stuff we can set up. If we wanna click on one of these, all we have to do is install the overlay. And of course, this will set it up in our actual Streamlabs, or not Streamlabs, Stream, no, OBS Studio. I'm getting tongue twisted. But of course, we can reset later, but we're not going to do it for the time being. But once we've done that, though, you can see it popped up here, but we don't actually have a capture card at all. So if we want to actually add like a display capture the front time being the kind of show off I'm talking about here, you can actually see that it actually just pops in if I can actually line this on up. So you have now the alert scene set up that you've actually installed, which is pretty cool to say. Uh, so you can actually get some free actual setups like this if you want to. And if you, of course, you do the subscription or you have uh, you want to buy some other ones, you can absolutely do so with this. Now, besides that though, you also got some widget themes, which you can actually get. Of course, you can filter by free ones and get some free stuff too, if you want to use, or if you want to actually use stream labels for some reason, you can actually do so. I'm not entirely sure exactly what this does. I don't really mess with labels. And then of course you want to manage your chat while you can, but it doesn't seem like you can manage it actually within the OBS. You have to go to the stream labs actual site in itself. And then of course you can set up tipping too. If you want to have like donation feature, you can actually do that. And on top of that multi-streaming, uh, and of course, it seems like you can actually do so with this. I thought this was paid for, but yeah, of course, you can only do one platform at a time with this for the time being. Okay. So yeah, you can multi-stream with this. So let's say, for example, here, if I want to set this on up to actually stream on Twitch, I can set this one for actually Twitch. And I can set up the actual plugin under the Streamlabs for actually YouTube as well. So that's pretty cool. We can only do two platforms with this. So I would recommend actually installing the actual multi-stream plugin because what we can do now, theoretically, if we want to install different plugins that we couldn't normally do with Streamlabs, we can actually do this with the OBS Studio plus with the Stream Elements plugin on top of that too. So you can see like taking the best of both worlds that you're limited on originally on Streamlabs, you can apply this in OBS with actually this, which is pretty nice. So for example, here, I want to go to my docs, which I've already sold the multi-stream plugin. I can actually have access to this and I can just like slap this wherever I want. That way I could actually multi-stream to more than another platform with actually the actual Streamlabs because you know, you have to pay a subscription, they get more than one. And of course, free plugin, you see what I'm saying? You can actually do so. Now for installing widgets, it's the same process. All you have to do is pick whatever widgets you want to use. Of course, you can just install widgets and we're going to do a free one for the time being and click continue. It's going to might take a second to actually load. Once they're successfully installed though, you will actually be able to test them. Now, if you do want to add alerts or a chat box or really anything, it's really straightforward this plugin. All you have to do is go to the top left under Streamlabs. Once in here, you want to go under widgets. And of course you can see everything that's in here. You can add a follower goal, a viewer count, 
uh, event box, event box, alert box, I should say, and an event list. So if we wanna add any one of these, we just make sure to pick what scenes we're on. We're on a live scene. So if we wanna add alert box to our live scene, we click alert box, add, and of course it will just add it into our event area, which is pretty nice. And if we wanna test it, we can really just go back to Streamlabs like we did earlier. And of course, go to the bottom left, you'll see actually test alert, which is pretty cool. And then we can just test it. So if we wanna say we gotta follow on Twitch, we can test to see if we gotta follow. And of course it works like so. And you can customize this to test the alerts. We'll have audio. You can actually control the audio via control audio open in OBS. We can just add that. You can see now we get an audio source for that. And then you can do the same thing for actually alerts. You want to set your alerts for other platforms. They'll just work on here. So now subscriber, for example, here, if I was to play it, you'll see it just works. And of course, you can install your own custom alerts in here too for certain platforms if you really want to, which is honestly pretty sick. So that's how you set up the new Streamlabs plugin in OBS Studio. Now, I will have a video link down below how to do a complete guide on how to install OBS and set it on up. So if you got confused anywhere throughout this video, you can actually watch that video, come back to this video, have a setup OBS, install the plugin, and you're good to go to actually start streaming. But if you guys did find this video helpful, make sure to smash like button, get subscribed so I miss some future tech content. I'll see you guys in our one tech grant.